Yes, we're projecting a lot of cars out on the roadways, not only in Missouri, but across the nation. It is Thanksgiving after all, one of the busiest travel holidays of the year. And with me, I have AAA's Nick Jabaria. Of course, he's talking all Thanksgiving travel trends yeah. that he's predicting. So you have a lot of numbers to share with us. What would you tell travelers uh, heading out on the roadways? Yeah, well, we know that uh, you're going to see an increased number of people out on the roads and in the skies from last year, up about 1.5%. Uh, AAA is expecting overall about 50 54 million Americans to be traveling for this Thanksgiving. And that's not quite to where we were in 2019, just down about 2% from pre-pandemic levels, but very, very close. So overall expected to be busy out on the roads and in the skies. Oh my gosh, yeah. And you were telling me um, even gas trends are a little bit lower than what we projected mm -hmm. last year, correct? Yeah, yeah. well, good news for, for drivers that are heading out on the roads for Thanksgiving. Gas prices are the lowest they've been since February of this year. So uh, we've seen gas prices trending downwards. Depending where you're at, it's not out of the question to see your local stations under $3 a gallon now. So certainly some much needed relief for drivers at the pump after dealing with those record highs all summer. Oh yes, that is yeah. great relief. You were saying that there was a quick trip on page that was like $2 or a little uh, bit over $2. Uh, yeah, under $3. So that's that we haven't seen that in a while, so it's good to see for this weekend. Very good. Okay, what else would you tell drivers heading out on the road? Yeah, certainly, you know, everybody wants to know when's the best time to leave? When am I going to hit the most traffic? Wednesday is going to be your busiest travel day overall. Uh, when you said you were leaving, yes. so so good <laughs> luck. No, but uh, really from about 11 uh, a.m. to 8 p.m., that's when you see the most traffic uh, out on the roads on Wednesday. So if you are leaving, if you can leave early in the morning, that'll help on the return trip. Uh, Friday, Saturday, uh, yeah, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Of course, people want to spend as much time with their families as they can. So the evening hours are going to be the busiest there. So again, if you are coming back Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, leaving, you know, mid morning, early morning, that's going to help you avoid some congestion. And I would imagine, you know, being the traffic reporter that I am, just make sure you're not in a rush. Yeah. You know, we see those people trying to get to a try to get to their destinations in a rush and then that's where the traffic incidents yep. occur. Yeah, yeah. Leave plenty of time to get to where you're going safely. Account for that increased traffic. Uh, you know, and again, really just make sure you're following all those those normal traffic safety tips that we always give. Wear your seatbelt. Don't drive impaired. Don't drive distracted. Okay. Any last uh, remaining tips for drivers? Uh, no, uh, you know, we would just add to from AAA's perspective, we know there's going to be increased number of breakdowns and people stuck on the side of the road. Make sure you're giving those first responders, uh, emergency roadside workers, plenty of room to work when you encounter them this weekend and slow down and move over That's right. okay thank you nick that was thank great you. information for all those travelers out there for the thanksgiving rush we'll be right back after the break